Howdy! Good to be here. Thanks for being with us. Um, so, we're continuing Pokemon Crystal tonight. Very excited about it. I say that every time. Hi! <laughs> Um, it keeps on being nighttime in these streams because I'm always streaming during the week. Um, one of these days, definitely this week, we'll get some footage with actual what Crystal looks like in the daytime. Um, but we're getting a lot of nighttime right now. So before we get started, we have just kind of a little team recap. We're not really using everybody on the squad. Um, Really, our first two team members are our main ones. We've got Margo, the Dunsparce here, rocking that rage. Uh, we've got Sinaiquil, the Cyndaquil, um, with the newly taught Mud Slap from Falconer. Um, we've got Rocky, the Onyx, still just knowing Tackle and Screech, but that's all right. Um, and we got Madam Web, the Spinarak. Um, and then we have my honorary wife holding the Miracle Seed because she's a miracle of a woman. Um, and we have Volo. The Togepi. I actually don't remember if Volo, the character, has one L or two. I might have misspelled it. Um, let's see. No, no, it's just one. Nailed it. Nailed it. I'm an expert. Um, but, um, so I said last stream we would kind of take on some of these trainers uh, here leading up to our first cave. Uh, cave run of the run. But we're going to start with this guy down here. I believe there's a bird keeper. Howdy, sir. It's from Violet City. You beat Falconer? Yes. I'm a bird keeper myself. Bird keeper Peter. Set out Pidgey. Perfect. Um, I feel like our girl Margo could probably sweep here. She is an absolutely raging lunatic in the best way. Because if we just get one hit, yeah... You're going down, Pidgey. Um, hey there, Devin. How we doing? How was your day? Uh, my day was pretty solid. Um, I had a much better day at work today than I did yesterday, which is great. Um, felt a lot better about it, so that's happy. Um, tomorrow is Friday, which I'm super excited about. I probably won't be streaming tomorrow. Um, we're going two days in a row here. I kind of want to take it easy. Um, there in the last day of the week. But uh, I'm actually heading into my spring break, um, which makes me very excited. I That's kind of one reason I am confident that I can get some daytime footage, because I'll be able to start some streams a little bit earlier, because I'm going to have the day off from work all week. Um, but... If you don't know, in this game, look at that. Margo, I'm going to say it a million times this run. You're going to be the MVP of the squad. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, but, uh, what else was I saying? Yeah, I'm, my spring break's coming up. I'm super excited about it. Let's see here. We have some other trainers that we want to fight. Our levels are actually looking pretty decent. I've fought this guy. There are a couple guys here on the bridge I can fight. I'll just fight this guy. If I really feel like we need to come back and fight some of these trainers, I will. But um, I think we're feeling pretty all right so far. Um, but for my spring break, I don't really have any crazy plans. Uh... Unfortunately, my wife... Ah, oh crap, I forgot it knows Peck. Um, my wife works in a school as well, but not in, the, ooh, not in the same one that I do. So we are actually on slightly different schedules. Um, so her spring break is actually going to be the week after mine, which is crazy annoying. But hopefully she can kind of get some stuff done around the house while I'm busy with stuff. Um... So I'm just going to kind of be doing my own thing, kind of working on some creative projects. Um, I have a lot of uh, music that I'm working on that I'm really hoping I can get some good progress on because um, I'm very close 
to releasing a lot of it. Um, and if you haven't checked it out, uh, I always keep it right above me, Silver Cave Ban. Um, <laughs> am I gonna am I gonna get stuff done around the house when she's busy? I feel like I do a pretty good job of doing that. Um, I uh, you know I pretty much do the laundry for our house, um, and I wash a lot of dishes. She definitely does more cooking, um, but I do have a few of my trademark dishes. I will say. Um, I found a useful item shopping. I think this is the first time our mom has done this. So when your mom saves your money like this, she will buy stuff for you. And she leaves it in your PC. Let me show y'all. So we go over here. Speaking of Madam Web, have you seen the movie that recently came out? I actually haven't. Um, we caught our little girl Spinarak and I'm just like, Madam Web's the perfect name. I mean, I've heard, ooh, a super potion. Thanks, Mom. Um, I hear it's terrible, but you know, I I try not to be too harsh of a critic of movies, like, making a movie is kind of a miracle in many ways, and you know, a lot of the worst movies ever made, uh, people really, really tried to make them good. So I try not to be too critical in that way. But uh, no, I have not seen it, I've heard it's really bad, but... I probably just won't see it and just won't say anything bad about it, you know? Um, because it didn't really interest me terribly from the beginning. Oh, it's really bad. <laughs> Absolutely. You had hopes before, but there was no connection to the Spider-Verse. Yeah, you know, and like, Sony, the studio, is kind of in a weird place with that. Um where they, like, only half own the character at this point. Or they own the character, but they're kind of trying to do their own thing, but they're also lending it to Marvel. It's kind of a weird s setup um, they have going there. Um, but there are a lot of other Spider-Man projects that I love. I actually haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse. I saw... No, I've seen Into the Spider-Verse. I have not seen Across the Spider-Verse. That's the second one. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, no, we'll go with Sinequil here. Um, this is Union Cave. Um, this is kind of the first cave that you have to tra traverse. That one was amazing. Absolutely. Um, Into the Spider-Verse was so good. Um, and again, I heard Across the Spider-Verse is also amazing. Um, and I'll probably... I'll catch it at some point. I just never caught it in theaters. Um, but we're in Union Cave. This is kind of the first cave that you have to traverse through your run of crystal. Um, it's just kind of like a short jaunt. You kind of start fighting your first rock-type Pokemon. Um, and our boy, Sinike, will... It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a little bit of a battle of attrition here, but we should be able to outlast this Onyx. Because, um, while fire is weak to rock, Onyx doesn't know any rock moves yet. So, we should be able to be pretty fine. And again, Mudslap's not super strong, but it is super effective, and it's doing a decent amount to this Heronic, so we can kind of get through quickly. We're not really, there we go, I was about to say, we're not really getting the accuracy luck that we want to see. There we go. Nice one, Cyndaquil. Perfect. Bing! Trying to learn Ember, perfect! Um, this is our first fire move. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll get rid of smoke screen because we have one slide. Um, perfect. Um, and this is just in time, actually, because we are about to go into the next gym battle, which is a bug type gym. Another gym that they did not have in Generation 1, which is kind of a shame because Generation 1 has some sweet bugs. Um, let's see. For this one, we're going to go into my wife. Um, this will just be a very good fight for her um, because she's going to have the double super effective Vine Whip against some of these rock Pokemon. It'll just help us, help give us a good matchup here. There we go. 
Should, yes, yeah, should still be faster. Oh yeah, and this, I remember this guy has some pretty weak Geodude. So yeah, our wife, level instantly. Learn growth. I might see, I'm gonna see if, uh, um, Sinaiquil can come in here for a minute and take care of this one. Because Sinaiquil is a Pokemon that we're gonna use for the rest of the run, so I wanna go ahead and get him going. Um, how do you stream these old Pokemon games? What are you playing on? I am playing on an emulator. Um, I just have a Mac computer, um, and I am playing on an emulator that is for, um, the Mac. It's called OpenEMU. Um, there's actually a problem with it right now where I can't get sound in Game Boy Advance games, but I can still play the Game Boy Color games, so I'll probably have to find a workaround. Um, for when we kind of get into Game Boy Advance stuff. But, um, I'm, that's what I'm using to play the game and to stream, um, you know, the little setup I have now. I am using a free program called OBS. Um, and it was kind of tough to get the hang of at first, and I've still, there's a lot of stuff I still don't know about it. Because, you know, you can set up microphones, which I have, don't, am not really using. I'm just kind of... Just kind of going with the flow. Whoa, two levels on my wife. Love to see it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just watched a bunch of YouTube tutorials, and it um, taught me how to stream on OBS, for the most part. Um, and once you get the hang of it, it's not too terribly tough. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm scooting back to the Pokemon Center here. There we go. Because my Sinai Quill is all out of mud slaps, so we're just gonna keep gonna scoot back here real quick. <laughs> I love that when I'm using the speed up. That. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm streaming it. Um, nothing too terribly crazy. Uh, I remember when I first got OBS, I'm like, I think I want to play these games on stream because I love playing them anyway, and I would love to kind of show them off to people. Um, kind of showing off things that I love is a way that I kind of like to, you know, share my heart a little bit. Um, and that's kind of the the emphasis I have with this channel. Ah, Wooper, a Vine Whip will destroy you because you are two times weak. Um, we already caught a Wooper, just for the fun of it. Named him Whoop. Um, I believe this person does not have any rock Pokemon, so let's get Rocky into the mix. Um... Because Rocky will be useful against the Bug-type gym as well. Um, but yeah. I had this on my laptop to this program. And that's how I play um, a lot of games. Uh, a lot of these old Pokemon games casually. And it's been great. I've done many, many playthroughs. It's been a really good way to blow off steam at the end of the day because these are games I've experienced so many times and I can really just kind of like shut myself down and experience the experience the warmth of it. You know? And it's lovely. I love it very much. Yeah, this coughing's not going to be able to do much to Rocky. Um, it's also very good to have a rock Pokemon against one like Coughing or like Voltorb or something because they like to explode. Um, let's see. For this Coughing... Yeah, we'll stay in. Um, I'm actually not sure. When we defeated Falconer, um, he says that Pokemon up to this level will obey you. And I think it's up to level 10. Uh, Pokemon that you get in trades. So, we might get be getting to a point here where Rocky won't really listen to us anymore. Um, and what that looks like in the game, and we'll probably see it at some point, um, is that it could just use the a different move than we pick, like it's not listening to us. Um, it could just not move at all because it's just like, screw you, I'm not listening to you. Um, nice, learn bind. We'd love to see rock throw, that'd be very useful for the bug gym. Um, 
And sometimes when the Pokemon don't listen to you, they can even fall asleep, uh, which is deeply terrible. Got some Rattatas in here, some Rattatas. I found myself, <laughs> I remember early in the run, I was just like, I say Rattata and I just said Rattata. I kind of say both. Excuse you. There we go, got some Whoops in here. I believe you can catch Sand Shrew in here, a Pokemon we saw in yellow. Um. Ba ba dee da da ba be bow. Ba. So we can fight that guy. There are a couple more trainers we can fight. Um. Yeah, we'll give him a go. Hello, sir. I believe he has a Slowpoke. Um, Slowpoke is actually kind of a key Pokemon in this generation. Um, you can, uh, like that guy was trying to sell us Slowpoke Tails. Um, once we get into our next town, Azalea Town, um, there's actually a place there called the Slowpoke Well. Um, that, uh, some things are gonna happen in. Hit us again, Slowpoke. Yeah. Just keep enraging her. You wouldn't like her when she's angry. Um, but yeah, and Slowpoke is actually one of the Pokemon that gets a new evolution in this game. Oh, so close. Ba -ba -ba. So originally, Slowpoke evolved into Slowbro in Generation 1. And that still is the case in this game when it gets to level, I believe, 38. Um... Ah, TM39. I, this is for Swift. Um, it is a just a 60 base power normal type move that never misses. So it's pretty useful. I don't know... I don't know if we're going to use it. I just said it's useful. <laughs> um, but pretty soon we're going to get a normal type move on Margo that's probably going to outclass it. So I'll probably just hang on to it. Maybe we'll use it later. But... So yeah, Slowpoke does still evolve into Slowbro at level 38, I believe. But, if you trade it holding a new item called the King's Rock, it will evolve into Slow King. Which, if you've seen Pokemon the movie 2000, uh, there is a talking Slow King in that movie that I love. Oh yeah, we have a Fire-type Vulpix here. This is not going to be good for Madam Web. Um, we'll go into Rocky. Oh, we might get to see Rocky not obey me. But in Pokemon the Movie 2000, there's a very good talking slow bro that I love. Um, right, look at that screech going. Yes, perfect. That's why we wanted to switch into Rocky. But Pokemon the Movie 2000, that is a great movie. It was the second Pokemon movie, and it was about how Lugia... Well, the fighting of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Um, and it's probably the reason that Lugia is my favorite Pokemon. Um, that and Pokemon Silver really being the game that made me love the franchise. That was like the game for me. But then Pokemon Crystal came out as like, a, like an improvement on it. There are some differences in Crystal that I don't get why they did it. Like, for example, there is a Pokemon called Mareep. It is an electric sheep. It is adorable. It is strong when it finally evolves. And it's not in crystal. I don't know why. I think it's only in silver, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh... But it's fine. It's fine. I st we still love crystal. If you want to use uh, a Mareep, you can uh, play one of those games. It's almost identical to Crystal, but there's just a lot of cool, like, graphical things that I love about this game. And it's probably the game that I have played the most. So with that, we're out of Union Cave. There are some other areas of Union Cave that you can explore if you have the ability to surf on your Pokemon. Unfortunately, we do not. So, actually, we're going to stick with Madam Web here to start um, to fight this fella. So I think he has some fighting-type Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Excuse me. Ah, uh, he starts with Geodude. I see. This looks like a job for my wife. 
Something I say a lot. Because my wife is just uh, a very competent person. And she's really good at doing stuff. And I sometimes am not really good at doing stuff. But you know. You live and you learn. You get better. Wow, Bellsprout grows really fast in this game. Ah, uh, yes, Machop. This is why I was going into Madam Web, because Madam Web's really going to do a good job resisting the fighting attacks of Machop. And, like, Low Kick, again, does damage based on the weight of your Pokémon, so it's not going to do a lot to Madam Web, even though it's doing more than our Poison Sting. So we're in another little battle of attrition here, as we usually are with Madam Web. It just keeps getting critical hits, guys! All right, I can live two more. There we go. Yeah, Poison Sting, once you start doubling up that poison damage, you're usually doing all right. Ah, that is annoying. We would have won that Battle of Attrition, however. Uh, we'll just go into Margo, even though a low kick's really gonna hurt Margo, but we might be faster. Oh, poison will kill it. Perfect. Perfect, my plan all along. Oh, and we got a double level up here. Love to see a double level up. Double level up. <laughs> um, all right, so with that, we can make our way to Azalea Town. This music right here. Uh, I always be jamming out to this music. So we have this uh, shady looking character. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't I a good Samaritan? He looks kind of familiar. I don't know, like he belongs to a team that we've seen before. I imagine my glasses doing that little anime thing where like the shine goes over it and you can't see my eyes. Um, <laughs> Slowpoke Well, this is what I'm talking about. Also known as the Rainmaker Well. Locals believe that a Slowpoke's yawn summons rain. Records show that a Slowpoke's yawn ended a drought 400 years ago. So again, we kind of have this like Bellsprout being a sacred Pokemon in Violet City. We have Slowpoke kind of being a sacred Pokemon in Azalea Town. Um, Again, Johto kind of really talks about being one with nature and kind of connecting with Pokemon and the world, and it's really cute. And I love it. Um, all right, so we healed up. Let's pop into this shop. Do a little, do a little shopping. Uh, oops, not that. That is too expensive. That fi uh, uh, that powers up fire type moves. That would be very helpful for our Cyndaquil later. But we can't buy it just yet. Super potions are very good. But again, we can't buy too many. I'm going to buy one more scape rope. Because I like to have a few on hand. And then repels. Um, this is something that we... Okay, we can buy four. Love it. Great. Only $36 left. This is something that we dealt with in Generation 1. We actually couldn't um, run away from a lot of the Pokemon in... Victory Road, because our levels were too low. Do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you so glad I told you that? So this other shady character is standing in front of the gym. So what are we going to do? Um, we can't go in here, because this is Ilex Forest, which is super cool. And this is very cool, because Ilex Forest is a very, like, thick, dark forest with, like, a thick canopy. And... Fun fact, you can't tell because it's nighttime in the game, but Ilex Forest always looks like this, even in the daytime. It always looks like it's nighttime because it's very kind of dark and spooky and just very lush. Um, but something that we'll encounter here, and this is kind of annoying because you'll just run into wild Pokemon in here, but I just want to show you, we can't get through Ilex Forest because there's this tree that we can't cut down. Um, so... You like the purpley nighttime look? I agree. I like it too, but my personal favorite... Oh, I love how Venonat's eyes light up. Um, very cool. Um, my personal favorite is the morning filter that you get in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So what are we going to do? Well, here's what we're going to do. 
We have this guy that lives up here. I'm gonna pick this little berry in the back. It's actually an apricorn, though. Well, what does an apricorn do? An apricorn is not something that your Pokemon holds. It's actually something that can be fashioned into a special kind of Pokeball, which is very fun and a really cool mechanic that they introduced in Gen 2. So this guy is the ball maker. His name is Kurt. Hmm, who are you? SCG, eh? You want me to make some balls? <laughs> Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Oh, do I? Don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. So Yellow takes place three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm gonna go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke, old Kurt is on his way. So Kurt's here to save the day. Um, hey, I'm in the middle of your last stream on YouTube, but I'm almost caught up. I'll definitely catch your next one on time. Nice! Thank you! Thank you for checking it out. Um, so much thank you. Um, so Kurt just bolted it out of here, because he's like, Team Rocket's doing some dirty stuff at Slowpoke Well, so we gotta, we gotta investigate, gang. Um, so we're gonna go in here, and that Rocket guy is gone. Um, hello, Loctess! Hi, how are you? Good to see you today. So. One more music, guys. ba da da do Boo. Good to see you always. Um, so our boy Kurt's here. He says, hey there, SCG. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Oh, Kurt, you old coot. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. So now, I have to stop Team Rocket instead of Kurt. Um, but Kurt's just, uh, he's just a wise old man, like a wise old ball smith. Um, shouldn't I say Routes? Nice! Nice! We haven't gotten to Routes yet, that's in Generation 3. Oh, great one, JJB. Great one. Um, I don't remember what this guy starts with. I am gonna start with, um, Sinaiquil. Oof. The rocket music in this, mu in this game is so sick. He called him an old coot as well, wow. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. Did you name Margo? Um, yes, yes, I named uh, the Dunsparce Margo, yes. Um, let's see. Oh, he starts with a Rattata, or a Rattata. Oh, after Robbie, of course, because Dunsparce is the most beautiful Pokemon that exists, objectively. And Margo, Robbie is also beautiful. They look exactly alike. Like, hold on. After, like, like, look at this. After this Tailwind. Like, look at this. Look at this Pokemon and tell me... Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, let me speed through this. Look at this Pokemon and tell me that that does not remind you of Margot Robbie. They look exactly alike. Um... But, uh... So we got... And she's raging... She's a raging lunatic, as always. And we're gonna use that rage to destroy whatever comes next. Okay, I really thought this person had a Zubat. I guess they don't. Just two Rattatas. Two Rattatatas. Boom. Get out of here. You ain't nothing compared to my girl. Nice. Also, I don't know if, if we fully appreciated the rocket music that happened there. Oh, shoot. I know that really looked like she was going to run into me, but I thought that it wouldn't happen until I went back down the other set of stairs there. So it really surprised me. <laughs> um, here's the Zubat. Oh, I talked over the music again. Because when the rocket music starts is what it's like really kicks in. I think there's a couple more rockets in here that will fight. I hate Supersonic. Guys, I hate it. I hate this move. I have played this game a million times, and I still just always hate this move. It's so annoying to be confused. Um, I don't know what Tackle's gonna do. Wow. Onyx really does not have a good attack stat. Um, all my homies hate Supersonic. You are so right. I'm getting warm. I gotta take off my jacket. Um, 
Let's see. I'm getting hot and bothered. Hating on Supersonic. But yeah, fortunately, this here Zubat's not going to be able to do anything to us. And that Screech helped us uh, knock him out. So it looks like Rocky still will obey us, which is lovely. Love to see it. Um, Ekans here? This is a poison type. Ba 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 da 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 There you go. Uh, we'll stay with Rocky. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked here, gang. Uh, we're gonna Screech again because Rocky's attack stat is not very good. Very good defensively, but attack-wise, not great. Um, wait, time out. Sorry, I was zoning out. Was that name Rupert Grunt? No. Oh, no. What did you see Rupert Grunt? Hold on, let me... You might have seen... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you. Were you looking at... Uh, there's Rocky and then there's Madam Web. Maybe those two next to each other kind of made two words in your brain. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we just got, we just got Madam Web. We got Rocky. No Rupert's here, but that's a great name suggestion. No, it was something earlier that I swore. Oh, no. Okay. Not that. Rocket Grunt. Um, cause all of the like team Rocket Goons. Yeah. Rocket Grunt. There you go. Now I understand. Um, that makes a lot more sense now. I was confused. <laughs> you have to name a Pokemon Rupert Grunt. You are not wrong. Um, I think that might be... I think the next Pokemon we get will be named Rupert Grunt. Do not let me forget. Um, I We will definitely do that. Because we are going to get our next Pokemon here in Azalea Town. We can't get them quite yet. Um, but we'll definitely do that. That's really funny. Uh, what does this guy start with? We'll roll with Margo again. Because Sinaiquil, we can kind of cool it on because he's going to be able to do really well in the bug type gym. Um, quit taking Slowpoke Tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. No one would think we were cool anymore, man. If we stopped thieving. Uh... Ratata, prepare to be annihilated. Uh, one thing, I should give Margo a berry. That would be really great. Because then when she takes damage and builds up her rage, she can heal herself automatically. Mm. Making the big plays. I've only played this game a thousand times. Um, let's see, Zubat, we're staying in. A lot of times with Margo, once she gets going, you just want to leave her in. Because once she gets raging, she can't stop. Mm -mm -mm. Unless you get a nice supersonic to the face. Supersonic, also, I feel like it's hit against us a lot. It only has like a 55% chance of hitting, which is stupid. Um, but we staying in. We staying in. We're just going to have to hit through the supersonic. Come on, dang it. Dang it. This won't do anything. Yeah. Zubat's nothing. Snap out of it. Yes. This should one-shot. It'll come close at least. Ah! And close it did. And close it was. <laughs> um, Alright. One more will do the trick. There we go. Oh, learn Glare. That's a really great move. I realize I do this a lot. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, glare is a really uh, good move because it can paralyze the opponent. That might be a move that Margo really, like, carries through the run. Uh, that'll be very useful. Um, I'm just going to let Margo pop a potion here. And we're just going to save and we're going to fight our final rocket. See, we have... A slowpoke with its tail cut off. Aww. It has mail. I didn't even know this. What does it say? SCG read the mail. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. <laughs> I 
have never read that before. <laughs> I never knew that was a thing. That's so cool. What a cool little detail. Do you say something? Oh, poor guy. No. Oh, there's a little note. That's so cute. Um, okay, we're gonna fight our final rocket guy. We gotta make them pay for this. Cutting off the slowpoke tails. Okay. This time I will shut up and we will appreciate the rocket music when it starts. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Mm. Uh, that is lovely. We've heard that music, you know, plenty of times as we've gone here, but I really... Oh, crap. Oh, no! Rocky's not listening to us. He used bind instead of tackle because he is past the level. Ah, oh, really needed that to work. All right. So really using Rocky is a real crapshoot at this point. Ignored orders, just didn't attack. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. So getting the screech off is big. I don't think this coffin can explode yet. So I don't think we need to stay in with Rocky. We got that screech off, so we can uh, do some super effective mud slaps with our boy Sinaiquil here. And that should do, do the trick getting rid of this rocket. Um, ah, dang it. We're getting a little bit of bad luck here, gang. Honestly, Ember might do more damage, yes. But I'm going to stick with mud slap. And that accuracy drop could be helpful, even though it just keeps hitting me. Alright. Alright, we're still able to get the kill. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. So Rocky will be able to offer a little bit of support in the gym, but it's gonna be a little testy, a little dicey. Alright, you did okay today, but wait till next time. Yeah, you need to get out of here, dog. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. Interesting. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Wow, you're just uh, openly mean, huh? Thanks, Kurt. Feeling better? Um, so that's great. And then you just kind of warp to Kurt's little uh, house here. Hi, SUG. You handled yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style. Um, would be honored to make balls for a trainer like you. So yes, he gives you a special kind of Pokeball, and I believe the Apricorn that I got from behind his house is a white Apricorn. Um, so every kind of Apricorn makes a different kind of Pokeball. And it, it, makes, it takes a day to make the Pokeball, um, and he'll be, like, if you check in on him, he'll be, like, at his little workshop here working on it. <laughs> so great. Uh, I can work much faster. Good, good job, granddaughter. Um, so that's great. And something that we don't want to do is try to go to Ilex Forest right now, because after you do the Slowpoke Well stuff, something will happen right about that fence. So we don't want to go there yet. We're not ready for that. Um, but, um, we still have some time. We are going to pop into the gym. We'll fight some of the trainers in there. We might have time to try to get our second badge tonight as well. Um, and that'll be really fun. So, as you can see, the slow poker back! <laughs> da, 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 da. Yawn? <laughs> slow poke, you absent minded little fool. <laughs> the comedic timing is excellent. Um, so, here we are in our next gym. Um, this is the Azalea Town Gym. The gym leader here is Bugsy, is his name. Which is a bit on the nose, if you ask me. But it's whatever. And for the longest time, I thought Bugsy was supposed to be a girl trainer. But it turns out Bugsy is canonically a man. A young man. Um... And a lot of people made that mistake as well. Pokemon has made kind of a lot of, like, androgynous characters. Um, 
I don't even know if that's like a good word to use, honestly, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Bugsy's cool. Bugsy is another trainer that kind of has one of those teams that it's like, why don't you have any Johto Pokemon on your team? Because Bugsy has a very cool ace. Oh, and here's Ladyba. Um, this is a Pokemon that we haven't gotten to see yet in the wild because it only comes out in the morning. Look at that. I, I love Ladyba. People hate Ladyba and its evolution Ladian. But I think it's wonderful. Um, I think it looks really... I mean, it's not its not good. <laughs> it's not a good Pokemon. But it's really cool. Um, adorable. You're so right. I agree. And as you can see, even Madam Web's Poison Sting, which isn't strong, is doing kind of a number on it. So Lady, Lady Bob's a very weak Pokemon. Um, but it's still good. And I actually, believe it or not, I did a playthrough of this game where I only used the Ladian. That's all I used. It can actually learn some really good TMs. Um, so we're gonna go over here. Um, I think we can start with Madam Web. I think this person has a Paris, if I'm not mistaken. And Paris is a bug type, but it's also part grass. Yes. Um, so... The poison sting from Madam Web will be super effective, which is great. You love to see it. We are. Oh wow, that did a lot. I did not expect it to do that much. I guess I am a couple levels lower, but. Oh yeah, keep trying to use stun spore. Don't hit me. <laughs> we'll see if Madam Web can still pick up the kill here with the with the early poison. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. Those two stun spore turns let us pick up the kill and grow to level 11 at the in the process. Ooh, Constrict. Constrict is a horrible move. <laughs> I was just like, ooh, Constrict. It's so bad. Um, I also love how Bugsy, Bugsy's in the green there. Bugsy has his little tree right in the middle of the gym. It's so, it's so lovely. Let's... Just let Margo do it um, with this trainer here. Yeah, I don't want to skimp on the trainers here in the gym um, because we have a pretty tough fight coming up after the gym, which I alluded to. Um, so I want to make sure we're getting some levels uh, while we're here. And if we really need to pick up a few more levels, there are those trainers that I left on the last route. Um, excuse me. Um, here we have Kakuna. Kakuna has high defense, but pretty low special defense. Especially against a Fire-type move, which is weak too. So one Ember should do the trick. There we go. Awesome. And I'll just stay in with Sinaiquil against Beedrill, which is the evolution of Wheel and Kakuna. I love that. That Beedrill sprite in this game. I will say, the sprites obviously kind of have, like, a more polished look in this game, and I love that they move. That, like, was so cool to me. But those Pokemon Yellow sprites, I think, are my favorite. I think they just have so much character, those old sprites. I think they're so awesome. Um, and even, like, the B drill in that game is like... Um, it's super cool. But this is still lovely. Still love it. I think this is a better game overall, but you know. There you go. Whoa! Great. Um, um, hold on. Let me check something. Because I actually think our boy Sinaiquil is about to evolve, maybe. Okay, it is... Um... Let me check, let me check, let me check something. Okay, we're good. I thought it was maybe going to, because it technically evolves at level 14. Um, and sometimes when a Pokemon evolves, here we go. Oh, 
Ooh. Nice. So sick. Um, great sprite for Quilava. Um, sometimes, when a Pokemon evolves, it will learn a move right when it evolves. And that could be bad for us in that instance because we would have missed the move, basically. Um, and we wouldn't have been able to go back and learn it. But I thought maybe it learned a move when it evolves. It does not. So we, we good. We good, gang. So we just have one more trainer here. We'll let Margo um, take them out. And that's actually really great that uh, we get Quilava for this gym. Fun fact, Cyndaquil actually evolves for the first time a little bit earlier than Chikorita and Totodile, which is really helpful for this gym specifically um, because it helps to power up our Fire-type Pokemon for the Bug-type gym. Um, and while the last person had uh, Weedle, Kakuna, and Beedrill, I believe this person has Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree. It just has like a nice little counterpart, which is nice. Um, and I'm trying to get some other members of the squad involved, but really, uh, it's kind of been like the Margo... Oh wait, no, it doesn't have that line. It just has a Caterpie and Weedle. I was mistaken. I wasn't even paying attention. How silly. Um, so we'll just stay in and knock this bad boy out. But yeah, they're really the only kind of like planned permanent members of the squad that we've got right now. Um, even though, you know, we, we love Madam Webb. We love Rocky. We, we love him to death. But I don't know if they'll be with us the whole time. You like this music? Dude, me too. I A lot of the Gen 2 music um, is the best in the series. I mean, pretty much any generation has at least one just like bona fide fire track. Um, and many have like multiple, multiple songs that are just wonderful. And this is another thing I say, because even in this form, video game music is so underrated, like as an art form. Like you have all of these great, great pieces of music that can just be disregarded because they take place in a video game, but they're incredible. They're incredible. Um, so folks, I think for our last thing on this stream, we're gonna we're gonna give Bugsy a go. We're gonna try to see what we can do against him. Our girl Margot, uh, we're actually gonna save her because she is going to come in handy against Bugsy's ace, which can be very powerful. Uh, but here, we're gonna start with Sinaiquil because Sinaiquil is really gonna be able to kind of make quick work, I think, of Bugsy's first two Pokemon. So let's do it. Did I save the game? I'm doing it again. I'm an anxious person. Let's do it. I'm Bugsy! I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. Of course, your name's Bugsy. How could you? Um, always save the game. You're right. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Got that nice little sprite. Love the whole green whole green fit on our boy Bugsy here. Um, and again, Bugsy has a Metapod and a Kakuna. It doesn't make any sense. Bugsy should have two Pokemon that are, like, better. <laughs> uh, Bugsy's Ace is really good, and I think that's kind of what the developers were thinking. They're like, listen, we're gonna make Bugsy's Ace really good, so his other two Pokemon we're gonna make really weak. And as you can see, for Quilava, we can make pretty quick work of them. Um... Like, taking Cyndaquil for this gym specifically is very helpful. Um, especially considering the fact that uh, he's evolved already. And this will probably one-shot Kakuna as well. So the battle really starts with the third. Mm -hmm. So I get why the devs would give Bugsy a couple weak Pokemon. Is about to use Scyther. Which, again, doesn't have any Johto Pokemon, doesn't make any sense. But Scyther's a sick Pokemon. Um, and it actually has a really good move, or a really strong move for this point in the game. Ooh! Um, called Fury Cutter. 
And it's a new move. It's actually the TM that Bugsy gives you. We're going to use Glare to try to paralyze him because he's very fast. Um, ah, crap. I think Glare makes the same sound effect. So here's Fury Cutter. Nice. Um, and this is a strategy that we're going to employ because Fury Cutter, um, what it does is that every consecutive turn that it hits, it gets uh, more powerful. It's kind of like Rage in that way, but Fury Cutter has a chance of missing. So we definitely want it to miss, and also if Scyther gets fully paralyzed, which we're hoping to see and we're not seeing yet, um, see, it's, it can really start to stack. Um, dang it. If Scyther, get, if Scyther gets fully paralyzed, um, that will be very helpful because it'll break the Fury Cutter streak and it'll have to start building power again. So this Scyther can be a real menace if you let it get stacked up. And this will probably kill our Togepi. Yeah. I was hoping to do a Charm because Charm will lower its attack by two stages, but luckily um, it just saw that we could... Um, it could one-shot us with Quick Attack because it actually just broke its own Fury Cutter streak, which is actually like a pretty bad mistake by the AI. Um, so I think our girl Margo should be able to do it here. Um, don't love to see a defense drop. See, there's that full paralysis that we wanted to see. Um, and if we can just survive a hit or two, our rage should stack to the point where the Scyther shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, nice critical hit. Um, Pulava would also be really good here um, with our Ember, but holy lord, that was a- come on, guys. Hopefully this kills. Come on. Dang it. Oh, hold on, Margo, hold on! No! Margo, we will avenge you. Uh, let's do Madam Web. Because Sinequil is a bit ahead of the team a little bit. So let's see what Madam, Madam Web can do here. All right, don't kill me. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll use I'll use Quilava. I'm not letting my wife die. I'll use Quilava. I really wanted to get another Pokemon some experience, but we should clean up with a quick Ember, and that'll do it. <laughs> don't kill me. Immediately dies. You are absolutely right. There we go. So Sinequil gets all this experience. I'm trying to spread out. I'm trying to spread it out a little bit, guys. I don't want one Pokemon to get overpowered. But we beat Bugsy, hooray! My research isn't complete yet. You dang right, Bugsy. Go back to the drawing board, nerd. <laughs> Very nice. All right, the Hive Badge. Which is interesting that it's called the Hive Badge because it looks like a ladybug. You'd think it would look like a beehive, but no. Did you know the benefits of Hive Badge? Ooh, if you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones, so our Onyx will listen to us again, which is great. Uh, Pokemon that know Cut will be able to use it, which is helpful to get through Ilex Forest. And here, Bugsy is giving us the TM for Fury Cutter. Um... And that's the move that Scyther was just using really well. And it's interesting, though, because not a lot of bug Pokemon in this game actually learn that move, which is kind of a weird oversight. Um, but it's still a cool move, and a lot of Pokemon that aren't bug type learn it, which can be... Bug can be a pretty useful offensive type. Um, oh, so here, I actually haven't shown this yet. In yellow... When you got a badge, it just showed like a static picture of the badge over where the gym leader's face would be. But in this game, it says our playtime here, but then we go to badges, and they spin on a little axis. It looks so cool. It looks so official and sick. I love the Zephyr badge. I think that is like the coolest design. Um, oh yes, and here are the gym leaders. So we've defeated Falconer and Bugsy, and next we have Whitney, Morty, Chuck, Jasmine, Price, and Claire. Um, I won't say what they all train yet if you don't know, but fun fact, Jasmine, number six there, is one of my favorite gym leaders of all time, as is Falconer. Really, all of them in Gen 2 are because I am a Gen 2 boy. I am a Gen 2 boy. 
and I'm not afraid to say it. Alright, so now we can continue. Um, we're going to heal the squad really quick. And let me just get to our natural stopping point. We're going to do a little shop. I'm going to buy a few more repels. Another soup potion, maybe. Just kind of help us get through Ilex Forest here. Alright, so we are going to stop right about here. Because the moment we hit that fence line, I can always do that over there, we are going to be dra uh, dragged into a pretty tough battle. So I want us to be ready for it. And that'll be a nice little cliffhanger. Um, but for now, I will save the game. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Oh my gosh, this has been so lovely. I've loved talking with you. Um, no one let me forget. The next Pokemon that we catch needs to be called Rupert Grunt. <laughs> I will try to remember that. Um, but Grunt, you're right. But with that, thank you. This has been such a delightful stream. Can't wait to keep playing this game. Oh, I love it so much. Um, have a great Friday. Have a good weekend. And I will see you next time. Peace, kids.